I'm Stephen Bernoulli. You're watching Israeli News Live here in the Czech Republic. And in behind me here, we have a crowd of protesters here that are against uh, Merkel, Chancellor Merkel, coming here today. She's meeting with Prime Minister Sobotka. And, of course, the people are not happy because of bringing in more of the Syrian refugees, all kinds of refugees, African refugees, etc., cetera, uh, from the south there. Because Germany is already seeing a tremendous problem with their refugee crisis. And the last thing that the uh, people here in the Czech Republic want to see is the same troubles that they're having there in uh, Germany now all kinds of problems that are happening there and yet the, the media has not been willing to call the acts of terrorism what they really are but here in the Czech Republic they know that it's terrorism and it's terrorism at its worst and of course President Zeman has been the one president that has been willing to stand for the Czech uh, people here against bringing in the refugees but of course what do we have with Prime Minister Sobotka? He wants those refugees here. They want to bring about chaos here in this country like it is in Germany, as it is in France, in order to bring about a one global military here on this continent here, a European Union super state. That's exactly what it's going to be. If they bring refugees here, it's going to cause chaos. It's going to cause mayhem. You're going to see more violence, more death. And that will only be to try to bring the people to their knees to accept a super state, a military state. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live here in the Czech Republic. Shalom. Well, good afternoon. This is Yana Benoon from Israeli News Live, and I have here one of the demonstrators uh, with me that agreed to interview. What is your name? My name is Jacob. Okay, Jacob, so you came out here in front of Prague's castle today to protest Merkel's visit, correct? Yeah. And what, what's on your heart? Can you tell something to our audience? What's on your heart about this situation? Uh, this situation, big problem with migration politics uh, and uh, more migrants, more problems. All right, guys, we are here uh, close to the Prax Castle where Merkel is visiting today with uh, Prime Minister Sobotka and later on with uh, Zeman, President of Czech Republic. And I'm interviewing here randomly people and I have here one uh, gentleman from Germany who would like to voice his opinion of what's going on. He told me he actually voted for Miss Merkel. Did you vote for her? Yes, uh, years before. I, I two times and the last time, of course, as well, but I uh, so f that was of course she's a uh, long time in the, in in in, in reason. So yes, I voted for her, but I will not do it again. <laughs> Are you disappointed with her open door policies on refugees? I'm not only disappointed. I'm actually upset about this uh, with with this because uh, she ruined the country, as I said before. Uh, I, I think it could have been worse for Germany because if there has been a red, red, green government, they uh, would have flown in all those people and, of course, much more. And so she uh, just take what she has to took when this invasion was coming. Yeah. Right. So Europe didn't learn from the mistakes of Sweden, as you told me. Right? Can you tell me more about that? How uh, what we should learn from? Yeah. So so Sweden is one of those uh, countries with a high uh, social standards and is very popular by these uh, Arab immigrants. And as you can verify uh, in official uh, crime statistics, Sweden's become the ca world capital of rape. Yeah. yeah? And um, the thing is that uh, the most victims are original Sweden's women and the most, um, I, I don't know what the, the, the people who do it, uh, are, are Arab people. They call it uh, rape jihad. So it's a part of, of their society because in, 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 in their kind of view you can do everything to other people as long as they are not belonging to the Suma. Yeah? So, so this is uh, this is of more uh, more or less. So she's here today meeting with uh, Sobotka, uh, who is a prime minister of Czech Republic and Socialistic Democratic Party here in Czech Republic. And he seems to stand with her on the policies. He would like to open door for refugees here in Czech Republic. Are you visiting here today? Do you know of any, uh, or how many people here in Czech Republic actually refute this, who don't want uh, uh, refugees coming in? Yeah. 
I, I, I think even uh, this guy is not really along with Miss Merkel because the good thing is with all these people from Poland, from Czech Republic, from Slovakia and from Hungary that they are against this insanity yes. to let all these people in. So it's, it's quite uh, good to see that there is still some uh, yeah, some people who, who remember what what they have to uh, protect because yeah. they have to protect the country and and with with that they protect even Europe mm -hmm. because Europe will be lost if this development will go fast. Do you think there is any hope for future? Uh, there is. There's always hope for future. Yeah. So so, uh, but uh, in in this case something must change. We must change our mind to view on these people who are coming. Yeah. Uh, these are not these helpless people, as they always show in the German media. Uh, no, they are mostly young men and they have a purpose to come. Yeah? And this purpose you will see in German streets. And you will see it right now and it will become worse, worse and worse and worse. And it will become better if we see and analyze and we have a right look on Islam and what this religion is calling their people. And if you see it quite clear what to do, and you do what is to do, then there is hope. Otherwise, if you ignore the facts, there will be no hope, of course. You know, President of Czech Republic, Miloš Zeman, has called this a planned invasion. Do you agree with him? Yeah, totally, totally. And okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that the, the, the Czech government is uh, against this, what Merkel is doing, and I hope they, uh, they will stay in this position. Okay, well, thank you so much for the interview. It was very kind to meet you today. Okay, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Too. Okay. One thing we can tell you for sure that's very interesting is that the protesters against Chancellor Merkel coming here to the Czech Republic is nearly unanimous against her arrival here. It kind of goes along with what we saw in the news this morning as we were looking at Angela Merkel's visit here to the Czech Republic that the people here are not in favor of her whatsoever, especially in especially when you're looking at the policies of bringing in refugees. President Zeman sta staunchly is against bringing in refugees. The Israeli people know full well what it's like to have to deal with radical Islam. We deal with it on a daily basis, even as a terrorist survivor myself, I know full well what it's like to deal with terrorism. The Czech Republic, the people here, do not want terrorism in their country. They do not want destabilization. They do not want their jobs taken from them. And this is why the people here are protesting the way they're protesting. They don't want it. But unfortunately, Prime Minister Sobotka is very much for Angela Merkel's policies and also bringing in refugees. But then again, he's a strong backer of NATO's policies. He's a strong backer of President Barack Obama. But if we had Donald Trump as president, I guess that we'd see Zaman and Trump, very close allies. We would see the sanctions lifted on Russia, and we wouldn't have all these issues that are going on. I'm Stephen Benoon here in the Czech Republic reporting live from the demonstration of Angela Merkel coming here to the Czech Republic.